So we have a little bit of a one Hello, here. Everybody. We have how far has light fallen? Destiny Two Lightfall review. As someone that has gone into week four of Lightfall, someone that has grinded a fuck ton of Lightfall at this point, I'm very curious the community is thinking about this. I personally like Lightfall. I think it's a lot of things good. I think it's a lot of things that they could fix. Let's uh, stop having thr uh, thruster damage tied to frame rate first of all. Um, you know, I'm, I, I want to see what a lot of other people are saying about this. Uh, Badge of Battlefield backup. I did not know you did a Backup D2 video. Someone will have to send that to me and tag me in that. Let's go. My name is Bricky, and currently my merchandise site, Orchidate.com, is having a massive blowout sale. So don't a smash my monitor. Grab sale. I made this site a long time ago. I haven't ago, heard of Bricky before. It's gonna be wild. All kinds of various types of merch, and I overbought. Simply put, I bought too much. And as we are Amazing, transitioning into legend. a new era of said merchandise site, it is time for me to sell all of the remaining stock I can at a significantly discounted price. These are really old school shirts like the Minimalist Tee. There is the Incredibilis hoodie, which has always been a pretty fun one. The 36th Anniversary Tee, which I always thought was a, a bit of an underrated design. I was quite proud of that one. You Looks have good. the Cyberpunk Ruby 8-Ball, which is the one I am currently wearing right now. Always love the back of this one too and a ton more they are all going to be listed i don't even know you did 40k videos interesting sale tab on the site right now and the prices are bottom this was just recommended to me i had no idea who he was 20 dollars all sizes all colors everything long sleeves car carbon model for t-shirts oh interesting didn't know that thank you for that all of it is cheap as chips and you have only this month to grab it before it all is gone so check it out orchidate.com in the description last chance sale give it a look and let's talk Cross about bottom what? hello everybody my name is bricky currently saying well it's no titanfall 2 every time i use the stream Got grapple one day i said to my stream which of these three things are true it is gaming just Feeling a bit poor lately. Okay. Like not bad, but between Callisto Protocol, yeah. Forspoken, Hogwarts, Atomic Heart, everything is just, yeah. it just looked a bit mid, and I haven't mid, really wanted to get mid, into yeah. it. Two, is Destiny actually getting pretty good? Have we reached a point where the meme of the game being bad is no Kinda. longer? It's not even worth spouting anymore? Or three, so crazy, <laughs> down bad. Always has Does been. Destiny just have its hooks in me and scraping across my chest to an extent that I just can't pull myself away. Am yes. I stuck in the gorilla grip of Callus yes. and the Kabussi? We came the to the conclusion that it was a bit of all three. A conclusion. I'm gonna start saying that now. The launch. Thank you, Bricky. Major expansion, the Destiny franchise. Mega Mind himself. Fall. There was a weight. On the shoulders of Lightfall, though. Oh, the there was. Was the best campaign the Sabbath Destiny Dusty. has ever had. And no, I will not hear otherwise. It is the strongest in almost every it was single good. category. It was good. And nothing else comes even close. Not Taken King, not Forsaken, nothing. It and was those good. Are some pretty big shoes to fill. Shoes that The Witness, the newest big bad <laughs> in Destiny, are attempting to steal. So our campaign starts off where the end of the season. Oh God, I hope he says MacGuffin in terms of the veil. Please, Bricky. Left off from with Witch Queen. The Witness is this mega mind yeah. looking thing. Oh, who is okay, hold up, hold the fuck up. I feel validated because I have had nobody else on the internet say that the Witness looks like Mega Mind. I feel straight the fuck up validated now because I'm not the only one seeing it. I don't feel crazy. Well, as crazy anymore. Was attempting to, to our understanding, destroy the Traveler. Now, our Traveler, having left our orbit and is now confronted by the pyramid ships, attempting to hold it at bay. Ha, that's where the that's the where the raid takes place in that good. pyramid. The Traveler finally does something. <laughs> he does like a giant beam of. He life, so to speak. That's where the raid takes place in that pyramid. Big witness with a flick of his wrist just murders all of our defenses yeah. and discovers an important artifact called the veil on neptune what is Guardian the veil bricky tasked with dealing with it boarding one but of the what ships is the veil our way to neptune <laughs> and in destiny fashion loaded that's a loaded question still looks incredible. what's the meme There's now ruben you know that's a loaded question will always get right it's just the sky boxes oh my they god give me a second way here. of making things look so so Big and they real. do. Callus's ship just flies one. under uh, underneath there. Look at Callus's ship. Asteroids. It's it's so pretty. And look and look. It's our boy. It's the boy. The the Kalusi. Right, 
So when somebody asks me, "What is the witness?" or "Or what is the veil?" after the world flood, what is the veil? You know that's a loaded question. Did Noah play and have? What is the veil? What does that do with final shape? You know that's a loaded question. Yes, that is in fact what. But what is the veil? What does the witness mean about final shape? Now, Ruben, you know that's a loaded question. <laughs> the Kalasi. Love you, love you, Kalas. The veil, I see. Oh my god, Kiwi, no. People are actually gonna get thirsty for the veil, I see. is Kalas. Ex Emperor of the Cabal. Callus, you might remember if you were a D2 veteran as the main raid boss. I fought Leviathan. him once to get an MX But he's been here and there many times throughout the story. And he's just he's an absolute goes top. The, G. No, it goes in the square right. hole. I am a Fuck certified Callus simp. Okay, Callus, my beloved. He has I, given himself beloved. over to the witness as the new disciple. Rook being the first disciple, the raid boss of the Witch Queen. Same now we you. have our boy. And <laughs> oh my God. Look at look, his look, drip. Look at the Kalasi drip. His gear, whack. whack. His jewelry, whack. whack. His foot stance, whack. whack. God damn, does he look ugly, but in a <laughs> beautiful way. I love his bucket helmet. That people with, with no taste, but lots of money have. Like, yep, like, this is a Bricky video. No idea. Just a oh, yeah. lack of style. No idea who Bricky is, but I'm loving him. It fits him perfectly. And it and does. he agrees. My semblance matches my inner beauty. Got him. So the story plays out like this. The witness is looking for a very important artifact mm -hmm. called the veil. What's While the veil, Bricky? Stare down with the traveler for, <laughs> I, I guess, possibly days. <laughs> yeah. <or more time. laughs> Callus, the disciple, is sent to gather the veil for whatever Accurate. nefarious purpose the witness has for it. This veil is on Neptune and in a city never before seen by us, the guardians on Earth called Neo. Okay, people have said that Kip is not Rohan. Who's the other one on Neo Moon? Uh, the other Cloud Strider. Fuck, what was his name? Someone remind me really quick. It's not Rohan, it's the younger one. Nimbus! People have said, Kip, you're just Nimbus from Neomuna. And I'm like, wait, what do you mean I'm Nimbus from Neomuna? And apparently people are like, just saying that I'm Nimbus, and I'm very confused at this point. <laughs> oh, Muna. Guarding the city are cloud strikes. Oh, Osiris was insufferable. That love chrome I could not stand Osiris this expansion. Now, this is the major objective of the campaign. He was Find insufferable. This thing called the Veil. Before the I'll have to watch more Bricky then. Take it to probably kill the traveler. Protect yeah. the citizens of Nia Muna, which are all basically uploaded into the metaverse and turned into human NFTs. He's and, using Revision you know, Zero, it looks like. Die in the process. I've done that. I'm a warlock. I know that pain all too well. Stay. God damn. Stay frosty, Terrans. <laughs> into this new place is where we start to get into the good of this DLC. Neo Muna is absolutely oh, you'll see who Nimbus is. gorgeous as a place. Yes. It yes. is dripping in atmosphere. It's has got a great that drip. Vibrant color palette and for the most part feels decently dense when it comes to enemy That's activity. That's Rune's Nothing quite tops the Small visual Sparrow. ecstasy of the throne world, yeah. but that destination is a bit lacking on enemy density. Yeah. Neo Muna is just amazing to run around. And the in. Thresher's like one shot you because of your frame rate. That most of the campaign missions take place there. Now I play the campaign on Legendary and so oh. And for me, the Witch Queen was so much harder than Lightfall, and I- Oh my god, you talking? I did that shit solo on Legendary? Oh man, I was breaking down at 3am. That shit was awful. The Sabbath Thussy on Legendary just absolutely railed me a new one. It was awful. I had to swap to, like, Thorn and Typon to do DOT. It was... The Witch Queen duo? Not much, like, even- not, not even, like, solo duo? Witch Queen on Legendary? Just... It's like a thorned cactus is all I'm going to say. I have zero consistency with that opinion. Some say it's easier. Ooh. Some say it's harder. Some say the porridge is mm, just right. But for me, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> a target locked fourth times enhanced retrofit escapade and Actium war rig. The war rig gussy. Everything died. <laughs> I dig it. Yeah, no... LMGs are in a good spot right now. My beloved. My when beloved. I wasn't using that. We had the new Laura Lace ornament because what? apparently during the strand sections, I still got the restoration despite <laughs> having strand quite often because we had faster recharge times too. 
Big Pog. Anyway, Big Pog. Our missions mainly consisted I can't of fighting stand the new Warlock, Shadow though. Legion Cabal, which is basically normal Cabal with yeah. strange shields and with bucket helmets that give AOE shields to their comrades, much like the Moths and the Witch Queen, just AOE instead. For Fuck the, the most moths. part, the enemy variety was the same, with the addition of one one, one brand new enemy, uh -huh. the Torment. Oh, they're so the underutilized, though. Absolutely ballin'. They're rough. I love they're them. Cabalin. Ah! Got him. Hello, everybody. They are a darkness <laughs> type Max or here. Wait, what? That has this huge move, set us a ton of damage, goes fast. I haven't played with Warwick ever. A great threat in a fight. Throwing purple projectiles, making a. Oh, they're, they do so much damage. Stuff, spitting out damage. They're so cool. Move, suppression, and that insane dive bomb attack. Man. And they steal your abilities. Are so fun. When I think of a good enemy design, I will Tormitor. always go back to Mass Effect 3. And the these boys remind me of the Banshees yeah. so much. Supplemental range damage are way faster than they look, are Come way on. tankier than they look, <laughs> and you want to be as far away from them at all times. Yeah. It's an adrenaline rush having to run away from one of these things yelling, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Yes, can we, can I've done that. My, my, my little butthole. That I have done that. Your butthole. Yeah, he is. He's gonna do it. And look at that you know eye. What? That's awesome. And that singular eye. Only too, the the Tormentussy. The enemies mainly come around to when they're spammed. There aren't really enough enemies that force us on the back foot. Most enemies are kind of slow advancing types or the fire from range type. There really aren't a whole lot of break you from cover type enemies that are utilized. At least I love this hammer build. Way. It's so Normally, stupid. the ones that do are like fodder enemies. Dogs, vandals, gladiators, Dogs. thralls, things like that. This enemy demands respect and adjust the way you except <laughs> except when you're kip <laughs> except when you're kip because in the last mission i was able to hide behind a box and you talk it was on the other side of the balcony and this this tormentor just went in circles he had no clue how to fucking get to me at all so yes, he demands your attention and respect, unless you're Kip, because then I will I will find a way to break that AI, and I and I did twice. <laughs> you play the game, and I really like. I that. have not seen it that. Makes no. Me hope that it'll be around for more encounters. Please be. Like with the loose and hive. Yeah. I probably won't actually expect that to happen. So, yeah. Throughout the campaign, our guardian is being given <laughs> yes. strand. This this brand new subclass utilizing the fabric of souls basically the river of souls kind of yeah tapped into it's the way confusing and unknowable that's energy Nimbus. but it's something that the no, so that's have like or a Rohan. for it's also a type no, of energy that callus and his forces are not prepared for no so whenever they have that, ways of shutting off your life. that pissed me off and i have to aside that because that actually pissed me off about the story it felt so cliche Oh, it's oh, literally Osiris, who's been insufferable this entire campaign to me. Like, oh, we have to go find the veil. We have to find the... Oh, Osiris, I need you to shut the fuck up for five seconds, because I will... <laughs> you don't got your ghost anymore, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, But no, like, I just... Uh, with, oh, this seals our powers, our known powers, me. Uh, you strand, me. Uh, it actually gives me conniptions. Like, that is a very aside. Like, I took, like... That was a narrative, like, minus one to me, personally. It was so... Cliche. Light, whether it's through jammers or other... Variants, Navi was better. ...strand to stop them. Which is very strange, because the enemies of the Shadow Legion have strand shields. Which I know is like a gameplay thing, but... I know, took that as their and, shields were susceptible um, to strand. That made it make more sense to me. campaign for long enough now, because... It's short. Yeah. There's nothing to talk about. Yeah. The campaign's existence, experience, is basically a technically, bunch of preventative busy work thrown together is. with a final end boss and some cutscenes in between. Because when I so the way Strand comes across to me is actually a fusion of light and dark. It is a darkness subclass ability. Um, the way that it, it, you know, they mentioned like the River of Souls, think like the light stream from Final Fantasy. However, the way it comes across to me is that, and Osiris makes mention to um, the light giving things form to the material, and the dark is giving form to the immaterial, and it's a combination of the two. So you're effectively using light and dark to make the immaterial material with it, is how that came across to me as a narrative. You know, how does this power actually work? That being said, we know about as much as it as we really do the veil make videos in like certain campaigns uh the the modern warfare 2 one right i i go talking through the whole campaign like we talk about the whole story that yeah. whole thing there's just 
eight it's missions. There's really not much to talk That's about. That's Nimbus, chat. Most of the campaign involves Strand and the Cloud Striders of Neo Muna, discovering what Strand is, how to utilize Strand, and teaching Titans you more, are, and more about the Titans are. Their Strand super is the nutty. The Cloud Strider stuff is keeping the people safe from Cabal attacks, Vex incursions, and more things mostly unrelated to the actual Veil vale artifact and yeah. the witnesses' plan for the Traveler. Because the entire campaign is the, wi okay. the witness. And Callus want the veil. Right? The, wi the, wi the Wittussy. The we need to protect the Wait, veil to stop the Wittussy or Wiscussy. To use the veil to do a thing. Yeah. We don't know what it is, but it's the witness, so it must be bad. What also, is the veil? Is Osiris, and I am the whiniest little baby bitch person you ever heard for an entire. Thank fuck someone else says it. Thank fuck someone else says that Osiris was absolutely insufferable in this campaign. Party of this campaign. Ooh. Ooh, this campaign is going to be compared a lot to the Witch Queen, like but excessively. Witch, to Witch Queen, Queen was better, in my opinion. Anyone who thinks that comparison is unfair is a fool, a foolish fool with their foolishly fooled short pants <laughs> making them a fool. I, I like the I like your this sound. campaign shouldn't be compared, as is a filler story before. The no, final absolutely, show, absolutely. Which is just a buck wild claim, considering it costs the exact same amount as the Witch Queen, yeah. and is therefore under the exact same scrutiny yep. from a price to I quality think that's fair. comparison. I didn't do a great job saying those words out loud right there, but I got my point across. Yeah, you did a good job. That matters. Absolutely. So if we roll back a little oh, bit. Oh, man, memories. Watch, each mission rewind the, v point, rewind the, uh, the VHS before you put it away, the chat. Sabathun and her brood presented Sabathun? was that of a detective no. mystery. All of the pieces are there, right? You have Ikora as the boss sending you out on the case. And then you have the investigative board. You even have all the Nimbus is arguably like the dingus. Evidence, likely suspect for Red Likely sus. And you even have Finch, who plays the, the young go getter who is way over. You talker just wants to get rid of his ghost even and have, have Finch. Archetype that he's injured from the original scuffle with the bad guy. Just instead of a an arm in a sling, he's missing a mandible on his shell. So each movie Why don't we have a mandible shell yet? Felt purposeful. Sure, there were some that were a little fit. But you were on a trail of leads to unravel how in the ever-loving fuck Savathun got the light of the Traveler, which culminated yeah. in a genuinely fantastic it was cool that she didn't steal shit. The Traveler gave it to her willingly. Yeah. There was a real quest, a real curiosity. It was cool. I liked it. Actually it was very interesting. A twist, a real answer to your questions. All capped off with an extremely challenging endgame boss fight and a oh, cutscene showing yeah. the architect of everything terrible. There he is. The witness. Not only did the story end on a note of excitement for the future, but it was self-contained. The yeah. Sabathun story was complete. The story I you up. were satisfied. And with the witness, the worm help tell us a ton about the lore. Of Bro, the worm is my favorite no, character from Witch Queen. It's so sassy. People. They are powers. The witness was the cause of the original collapse. Yes, they wield darkness as a weapon. The witness is an evil uh, person. Sabathun. Nope, I have the not. Light, and not yet. Though nope. this might be you're somewhat good. debatable. Was the major? Well, evil you're welcome here. Absolutely. Just using light instead of dark. The story yeah. concluded well. The questions we had were answered, I love that and worm. the new questions posed were intriguing and not frustrating. Yeah. Lightfall a contains lot. none A lot of these aspects. was riding on the Lightfall. The story is about stopping the witness and Callus from utilizing the veil. That's Quicksilver. What is the veil? I don't fucking know. They never Neither do you. us. They yell at you over and over again about the importance of the veil. Gotta get the veil. Gotta make sure they do don't it, get the veil. Don't let them get the veil. They don't tell you what nope, the Nope, none of them are, unfortunately. This doesn't I got some fun right. ones, though. The veil? Metal. Metal Gear? Nobody knows what Metal the Gear. veil is. And they keep yelling at you, oh, we can't let them get that veil. Rohan. Osiris actually writers, pissed me off by doing Dave this. Fin Finoy? I think, uh, also known as Lee in Telltale the Walking oh, Legend, Den, is killed off halfway through the story yeah. before he even gets any genuine time to shine. Yeah. Halfway through, three hours basically, on the hard difficulty, he sacrifices himself to stop the radial mast. Yeah. What's the radial mast? Not a sex position, apparently, but it's an <laughs> artifact from Callus yeah. that is also not ex Is that a challenge? Because I will make this a thing. I will make the radial mast a thing, so fucking help me. Explains. So this whole time we have X Digital Art is different. Dave Finoy playing this new Cloud Strider character. I love the fish. Get the veil that we don't know what it does, and then stops and kills himself to stop the radial mast that we don't know what it does. <laughs> yeah. you kill that I'm chuckling every time I hear radial mast now. That fast. So then yeah. you're stuck Accurate. with Nimbus and Osiris, and Osusurus. by God, they are not it. They Helicopter! Are just flat out <laughs> not 
it. Everything that's come at us, you're just like, oh, bam. Okay, I can kind of see why chat says I'm Nimbus also, now. You named them Nimbus. Yeah. He's. You know what you've done. I called them Nimbusi the entire I'm goddamn time. I couldn't help it. Ah, that one's on you, the witch queen. You oh had Ikora God. and Finch making up the dialogue for your campaign. The While I know not everyone loved Finch, I did. He brought I a love great Finch. deal of serious humor, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. The humor wasn't him cracking jokes. It was just the situation the he was in and how out of his element <laughs> he was. Also, I think his VA is actually really stellar, and he yeah. sells the role quite well. Yeah, Ikora you talk. Is you talk who wants to kill his ghost and have it, have Finch. But she still is I can't a disagree with him. Voice, and I will always have a soft spot for her from Firefly. This time around, Firefly the two base. main characters are Nimbus and Osiris, and I think they both fall short for two different reasons. Now, Nimbus is, I think, the first non-binary character in Destiny, and that right there, uh, fucking awesome. While LGBT and really? trans characters are becoming a bit more more prevalent as well in game I can media. see it, yeah. I can only think of one I, other I thought there was one prior to this though right now which is Bloodhound and Apex Legends so for Fair. that I am super stoked no nah, dude no nah, Nimbus is super cool to say that I absolutely despise Nimbus they are a picture perfect example of everything wrong with Marvel movie humor they attempt to make quips and jokes all the time and it always comes off as extremely forced or downright unacceptable like when I liked his on how ugly humor Callus was after his boss fight. So, you know, Callus right now, spoilers, is dead. And they say this right Spoiler! in front of your fucking dog. The uglier they are, the harder they fall, right? <laughs> I did like that scene. <laughs> How is that signed off on? How are you going to do that to my boy? You're going to call Peak. Male performance that drip. ugly from the cloud strider with the rip. Fair enough, right I guess now? he is. Often there huh, are two interesting. reasons a character fails from a voice acting perspective. One is that the voice actor isn't doing a very good job, or two, their script is just terrible. For Nimbus, it's their script being terrible. There are yeah. times where they actually yeah. sound pretty solid, even though I'm not a huge fan of the strange audio alterations to their voice. But overall, there are moments where Nimbus is- Oh yeah, we have the Kvostov in this cutscene. But they do so many things, so many jokes and quips that give me secondhand embarrassment to even look at it. And I hate it. Well, if you drop us, it might be my funeral, but whatever, it'll be fun. Osiris, yeah, on the other he's, hand, he's outlining I don't think is very good. I don't like irritants. saying this. Yeah. I don't like pointing to someone specifically and saying, you did a bad job. But I just don't think Osiris's voice work was very good at all. I didn't I like him at all his campaign. Script. He had terrible line delivery consistently. Now, this is a theory. Okay. Got him. Bungie mentioned that they have gone almost entirely remote, which in its own right isn't bad at all. Honestly, preferable in a lot of ways. But I don't 100% do know if this that extends homer. into the voice actors too. Because having multiple voice actors in the same room to read lines after each other gives conversations a sense of... Fl I didn't even take issue with his uh, his voice actor, really. It's just his line... like His, his entire like story... This expansion, while there were cool parts about like him losing Sagira and him talking to Nimbus, who lost Rohan, right, was kind of a touching scene. Like, it's, Osiris is just insufferable. This whole fucking DLC, it was just wild. Flow lets you understand tone. Right now, every single one of Osiris's lines sounds like it was read after reading a script that says Ghost says X line in an upset tone. Your line is blank. There's no flow. Like it all sounds segmented from each other. It feels like it lacks cohesion. The perspective. I don't think it's Mark Hamill now. Do not underestimate this moment. This is the product of humble it's just... training, many failures. <sighs> And your determination yeah. to do whatever it takes to stop the witness. So if you aren't going to help, that's nice, TLG. That's awesome. Leave me alone. We regroup at the watchtower. Yeah. You don't understand. We've got to get to the veil. We'll help push back Alice's advice. I can see what he's getting at, though. I can see it. Nothing but waste time. Another. Don't yell at Saint Osiris. Saint has done nothing wrong in this conversation. In season way back when. That's probably the best example of that. Yeah, no, of I know Mark Hamill. He's about. also Fire Lord Ozai and Avatar. Says I live in breeze. Saint Fourteen. I thought you were dead. Love it, brother. Wait, this can't I've be. 
<laughs> Wait, that's it actual sound dialogue. Like these people, particularly Shax in that one, sounds like he's talking to someone else. It sounds like he's talking as if he's guessing exactly how Saint was talking. It feels so segmented, that's it neat. falls just so flat. Not to mention just how whiny he was. The yes! entire story. I get uh. it, Zagira's dead. It's very sad, but- I love the oh fish. Oh my God. There's probably a word to describe- Insufferable! This, like, association with voice acting that I don't know about because I'm just not that smart, but I hope I can at least have you understand what I'm trying to get at. Also, Moving back to the game, it just feels like there's no stakes. Zero risk. I like the Animal Destiny. Crossing. Why won't any characters actually Music, yeah. die? Actual characters, not Miss. Oh my god, I just played the weekly quest today. This is the beginning of week four, and I just played the weekly quest. Ooh, that aged real fucking well. Let me turn on my light really quick. Oh my god. That, that. That aged real fucking well, considering the quest this week. Wow. Mr. Lee from The Walking Dead, after two and a half to three oh hours God. of gameplay. Why aren't you killing anyone actually? How did the fish get in the tower? Danger, that's my that's my concern. Really. Like, I'm curious. Game. It was the Neomuna people and two Cloud Striders we barely knew. Like, there's no tension, there's no worry, there's nothing. You know what the best part of this campaign was? Jelly. My boy Callus, baby! Yes. Callus has that setup. He was the first raid boss. He was around in multiple seasons. Yeah. Came to a head in Season of the Haunted. Got Get it? Because it's the callous head. Ah. And bam! He's there with his inner beauty as a disciple of the witness. And he kills it, man! His voice acting is amazing. I'm Miles assuming he'll still be in some capacity. Every single other one of the cast. He is just a joy to have around yes. every single time he's on screen. Yes. <sighs> I liked their interactions. The Witness and Callus' interactions were great. Perfect. Homemade Meridate sounds dank. I'm jealous. I-I can see that, Boscus. Dude, he got the unibrow. Secure the veil. We will create the link. Infinite apologies. The veil is yours. He's so good. Yes, so the interactions between those two are amazing. One of the best I want more of that. Segments in the Destiny campaign where you and Keitel slaughter Tweaking is always good, though. Because that way you can try something different, see if it works. Of Shadow Legion. Tanks, troops, and tormentors abound. So, long holdout yeah, Keitel can actually take on the tormentors on Legendary, on hard mode. mode in this game. Just, they, just they can, this she can take on a tormentor by herself. Battle, it's wild. The most enemies I have ever seen on screen at one time. Yes, he was. Tons he was bleeding in that scene. Usage, orbital lasers, everything. Get the giant the, this the mission sky, is what Destiny needs more of. Hot sauce sounds I'm great in right that, actually. This high, this high of excitement. And then yeah. it's time for that big the veil. boss. And you That's the veil. To the right there. Area That's the veil. The veil I've seen. fight Callus, and he's just a big colossus. Yeah. No new moves like nope. Sabathun, no different nope. abilities, no nah. special mechanics. He just reuses that caretaker thing. He's a Colossus. This was supposed Fair. to be our shining moment. Yes! Alice testing our guardians. This was our through Infinity War moment. Through challenges, through through petty squabbles, all of this training and bravado Dog. between us and the end result is a surprisingly easy Colossus fight. Easy? Man, I wiped so many times. A normal -ass gladiator. Yeah. I was playing on Legendary Solo and I did this I couldn't, try, no I, could, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I couldn't do that. Killed him using Rook's glaive. Man is me, better than the me. First disciple signature weapon, killing the most recent disciple. I don't think I have Rook's glaive yet. <laughs> a big colossus and then a <laughs> big bad. gladiator killed first try. This man is better than me, and I have well. Genuinely gone, my boy, my beloved. And he also my favorite an angel. characters in such an unsatisfying way. Speaking of unsatisfying, oh. our ghost gets grabbed by the yes. witness and creates the link. Yep. Which I still I hated that this. I can't stand this. That I don't know what that is. They get blasted by a ray of rainbow light, make a gigantic triangle in the traveler, and then them and their ships fuck off inside of it. Guys, and then it ends. final shape is just going to be a square. And that's it. What we'll is have the, the Borg. 
you aren't told. Where did the witness go? The traveler no, no, no. inside what multiple pyramids do? making I have a cube. No idea. The traveler is gone. No, it isn't. It's literally right there. It's right there. Oh, let's rest in peace, Lance. Humbled by this sacrifice. How do you know that? It's sacrifice? It's still there. It's How do you know things that I don't know? The ghost says, I can't feel its presence anymore. We still have our powers, motherfucker. Yeah. We still have the light. We didn't lose anything. The Traveler hasn't done anything for a decade. Yeah. Why do you think and then it shot one laser. It's right there. To make the do raid. You mean like, oh, it's gone. Like, no longer at the tower. Like, no longer down on the surface of Earth. That happened at the end of last season. Not now. Bro, the like, end of season of Seraph was fire. What the fuck happened? Is this like season four of Lost, for God's sake? The direct Never comparison I hear all the time is that this feels like the Infinity War of yeah. Destiny. And Final yep. Shape is the end game. It's even equipped with the gigantic brute monster villain clad in gold. Yeah. But Infinity War. War, one had stakes two Ooh. explained what was happening oh. and three didn't leave me the feeling of absolute confusion thanos wants the infinity stones but i know what those are yeah i know what they do the witnesses do we though do we really know what the infinity stones do because yes yeah, so we have you know space uh uh mind stone uh power stone i'm not gonna name all the stones you know what i'm talking about right we have the six stones however we don't really know where some of them end. Like, we know that the Mind Stone does certain things, but we don't know all of what it does or where it's boundary. It's more like a soft magic system if you look at the Infinity Stones. Like, do we really know what the... I mean, this is me being McTantic at this point. I'm moving on. And goal is... What? What the hell did they do? The veil. He touched the it? orb. We know Thanos' end goal. Kill half of the universe's population. The we know what's at stake. And at the end, when he does do it, the question isn't... You know, that's a little, what Ruben, that's a loaded question. The question is... <laughs> How do we recover from this? A yeah. genuinely good, intriguing question. If they would have explained the veil and, and why the random is being used, this would have been fine. Frustrated, confused, and unfulfilled. The reason I'm excited for yeah, the just like bad seg is not because -E I'm excited chat. for another Witch Queen level expansion. I'm excited to find out what in God's name happened in Lightfall, which is so disappointing that yeah. this is the taste in my mouth I'm yeah. left with. This is what I fixate on the most. He just glares at Osiris. Feels so aggravating. The thing that stings the most. It's a sting that pulls my mind away from all. We the do know more about the Infinity Stones than the Veil. We know more about the Spirit the Stone than story, the Veil. Or sorry, Soul Stone. Lightfall has some pretty great gameplay. I yeah. sing the praises of the Torment. Gameplay's fine. Strand. Oh. Strand is a little buggy, best. but like it's fine. Strand is just such a grenades are broken and right now. New concept in this Hunter game, discipline is necessary. With it. The builds you can create, he might get it. into the them bumping up the game difficulty. If not, we'll get into it at the so end. Numerous flying around with the they really jumped the difficulty the for the average builds. player. Little, little seeker bug things are a ton I do of love fun. them. Suspensions the hatch links are beautiful. Oh, I adore Strand. Adore the tea bag. Strand. The disrespect. It the PvP, like Stasis, but Savala Freebird was playing. Stasis, but you know how it is with a new class. Reality Soul in Time. Yep. Moon yep. Those really ones. Yeah. Pretty. It's a bit of an annoyance to travel. I like that Sparrow. You really need that it's secondary cool. spawn point because otherwise it's a pain to travel. But yeah, it's still it is. really nice. It looks gorgeous. Has a lot of great environments. The lost sectors are really good. Has some of the better patrol locations. Lost sectors is really good. good. Motherfucker, world, you played good. arcade. That is not good on legendary. Use. I like a lot of the new This one does not roles. spark joy. The strange high weapons are pretty enjoyable. Quicksilver Storm is my favorite exotic. It's like broken. Five. I love that gun. Crafting system was toned so down good. a lot. It's requirements, which is really good. And, and funny enough, Season of Defiance has some amazing activities not yeah. to mention how hmm, Kabbalan that art ah, is got in the background Bungo I, I know Bungo I at you for the last like 30 minutes yeah you please, did love of God please release that artwork of Marasov knighting us please, please release that yes artwork, please like, I want this as a print or something Marasov please immediately I would buy that in a heartbeat and the, the sub of life updates <laughs> might be the best part of the entire expansion <laughs> know, yeah. probably strand yeah. Second. The new changes are so immensely game changing for someone like me. Who the mods are wild right now. Understanding like the game has changed. There. The ability to create loadouts is such a welcome change. And the fact yes. that it also determines your armor's ornament. Why is he a shadow has trooper? An even greater amount How? of freedom to it. Swapping builds on the fly is so easy. And I get to keep my drip the too. Marussi it's a Marussi. <laughs> game changer. The guardian yes. commendations I love. End activity screen, great too. Yeah. I love commendations in games as I disagree well, with the Guardian really ranks. Addition. We and should not all have started off at six. Part two, showing up a person's dedication to all the aspects no, of the we game should not, as opposed to they badly balanced they those. To get to seven, you have to do a legendary lost sector solo flawless. 
And they toned up the difficulty, like I said. They toned up the difficulty a lot. If you're a newer player, that is going to be fucking impossible. That should be like level 8, level 9. If not 10. Like, they could have balanced that out way better for the it's average great. player. The journey tab is just It clean. is Drip Trooper, it's yes. It's simple, but effective. It's fair to Field answer, crafting yeah. too is something that I know is a, it's is a wild. bit divisive, yeah. but I personally like it. It definitely lowered the power of a lot of people's builds, and it made yes. it a, a bit too simplified overall. But yeah. hot take... I'm actually for that at the moment. I'm Revamping for the builds the currently right now. itself in a way to change the foundational elements so yeah. new build ideas can be made in the future that yeah. aren't you're not locked into elements. Players. Sounds like a great idea to me. I you get you get a 91 legendary piece. You can use that 91 legendary piece for any armor, so not have to change. It can be built upon more. I came from season th of arrivals where I had to spend an ascendant shard to swap from solar to armor that can be taken. See, a lot of this expansion feels like that game of thrones badly drawn horse meme. That's exactly what I posted after finishing the campaign. <laughs> it does leave a final question, like a final debate for Destiny. New Life starts at one. Oh, I started at six. Quite a while, yeah. And that's the debate of price. No, they could have balanced that out way better, though. Or the entire year for a hundred. Which queen was the same price, if I recall correctly? More complex is better, video, but it's really not. Defending the game's price if it's done well, it's fine. The content you got for the length of the campaign. The new I think which queen was a fair price. It felt light falls a little rough. You are one of those kinds of people who do the whole one hour per dollar of game time. Nope. Thing, nope. I mean, you're completely fine. This whole next year will give you far more than 100 hours of gameplay. Uh, Lightfall originally I guess that's fair. made me feel similar. Until I started two to really The two is like seeing a I unicorn, honestly. Here. The new location is nice, but it's... I only got one strike. It revamps some old ones, but that's just... Bro, why the fuck we got one strike? The there what are I'm some saying. Of the other things like exotic missions and new exotic quests, but those only... Fill in a certain few hours of time. Yeah. Some not even that long. But no, winter, really Winter's Bite was, was just time gated. No attention to everything else. Oh like, my god. Vanguard Man's going hard on bounties. People. And to be fair, they don't really need to change it much, but I would have liked a little more of something. Yeah. Throwing in prior seasonal activities like the I can't of the Risen just stand like that. Enough. Crucible is supposed I, to get three new Stop maps, putting Season of whatever in the fucking Vanguard season. playlist. So there's only one single new map right now. Not to mention the amount that we have zero gambit maps removed from rotation. Like there are a lot of maps that feel like they should be. Oh, accurate, TLG. I think gambit that's completely reasonable. Nothing. Yeah. No changes. <laughs> no new maps. Not even no bringing it. back old maps. There's that Dreaming City <laughs> one. I love the Dreaming. I City I didn't even map. know it was taken out of the game. Might also, seem wow. like a weird contention point, and most people might not care about this. But can you do something to Dares of Eternity? Can you get Please? a couple updates too? We don't have a Fallen final. Boss Make the drop rate better. Drop rate better boss. for the deep also, sites. Why are new enemies never added anywhere? In fact, why are there always so few new enemies in general? Which yeah. Queen added four, but it was more like three. Moths were one of them. Fuck and then moths. one of the each hive classes for the light. But they're only Genuinely in Witch moths. Queen content. And in this time, it's even less. I mean, Tormentors no, are mechanics, amazing. The greatest Love yeah. Tormentors. Morrowind does a lot of things good, from what I hear. with a backpack, and Cabal. that's it? Like, games priced at $60 the are Kibussi. entirely new games. Yeah. New games have entirely new enemies, too. Adding the Taken as a faction, the Taken King, and the Scorn and Forsaken is pretty great. New yeah. faction with intrigue but one new enemy in a backpack hell mass yeah. effect 3's multiplayer that i keep talking about i liked the it collectors it's and so not good even just the collectors from mass effect 2 a revamped yeah. revisioned version yeah they did of the collectors for the third game i thought that i, mean, I thought the multiplayer free. 3 was and awesome they also added the cerberus dragoon character for cerberus yeah they did and the geth bomber the big Deluxe edition Touch of grass. the hundred dollar one for the entire Bro, year. Bro, wait. I would say is for the most part. Did you get Touch Grass with that? I didn't get the it. Seasons are pretty I have not played more when it's on content, my list to do though. New guns. They further the story. There are new dungeons. A I'll legacy. Yeah, Yo, absolutely. Et TLG. I missed that for time. For the most part, I, I don't hate the deluxe edition thing too much because a whole no. years of content in MMO is a pretty solid amount of money. If you were to take depends it how you budget it out. If you're gonna play it for a year, maybe get it. Okay with that. If like you're gonna like for try it out, get the what base. We got here, what we got maybe get it on package sale. of Lightfall itself. There's just Shot not enough to justify fair. all that. It feels anemic compared to the Witch Queen. Will we get? Oh, definitely up to, but I still want to play it. Substantial meat to it. It's also why the story sticks out as so painful because Destiny has good everything yeah already it has great motherfucker i have been saying this since season of i say this in a loving way motherfucker i've been saying this since season of arrivals when i got 
in 500 hours, zero to MMXX, and that's why that's still my current title, MMXX. I did all of that, all of those raids to do that. Destiny is so almost good. It's so almost there. It's so fucking close, but it's not there. It's so close, but it never gets there. And that's honestly a lot of my frustration. It's so, like, almost there. And people in chat who play Destiny, I'm sure you can agree with that, right? Destiny is always so almost there, but it never quite gets there. Great game. Whereas, yeah, I, it I would agree. It has great visuals. It has great I, I, I do want to Everything play more, and I'll play it on stream, though. good in Destiny. Identity Christ, I can see that, Kiwi, yeah. It. More good music. Strand. Uh, probably more don't start then. To go to. Long grind. More visually appealing stuff. Much we as I'm open to new players and teaching, this, but the long thing grind. You're lacking is your character. Yeah, it's been spicy D1, yeah. Year 1 D1. I was like, okay, that was interesting. And that was the thing you did really well with in Witch Queen, which is why it was such an insane expansion. Because the one thing you were really struggling with, you nailed. The Sabbath thus he also had a lot and you going went for it. right back to struggling with it again. Yeah. The thing is, though, the talk of We Christ needed answers. Really doesn't matter to you, the viewer. Because when it comes to Destiny, you're in or you're not in. I'm in. If you're in, like I, me, I'm if already it's your too thing, far in. If it's the game that you play Yo, all the time. Yo, where do you get this glave, chat? I'm very curious. Does anyone? know what the fuck this glade is what is this glaive i keep seeing it where what is this from i'm i need to grind whatever this is because it looks it looks kind of looks like an urukai berserker blade actually kind of like me if it's your thing if it's the game that you play all the time yeah. if it's me someone who plays yeah. it on my own time my game for fun for relaxation from last season damn it i'm gonna buy I wanted even it. the shit expansions i wouldn't call lightfall shit but you know, other ones were because I'm in. <laughs> this so is the so I'm in. That's I the am that's from Bow. Thing. If you're out, oh, you I haven't just done don't really Bow. care. And if you were uh, on the fence, yes. you probably already made up your mind. The new raid is <laughs> the gonna Halo? Be out by the time this video is out. And the new raid is already out and some interesting lore bits actually dropped. So the Pyramid the Traveler shot with the laser beam, that's where Nezarak was actually in. Nezarak uh spoilers was the raid boss, and he has is a amalgamation of both light and dark. The new raid is I still need to finish one of it. The biggest parts of the entire experience. Yeah, and, and people said it was too easy. Roughly a one hour, two maybe three. I'll have to run Val. I need someone to once teach. A week. That's only if you run it on. I need every to share before character. Val. If not, it's like a one hour experience yeah. once a week. Yeah. Hello. Future Bricky here. I oh. did the Root of Night Wars day one. Yeah. I unfortunately, had a lot of internet issues and couldn't stream the whole thing. But on the first day, we it's were a able cool to looking raid. Encounter one and two, and later on, unfortunately, off camera, we finished off three. I got to four. planets, and Bricky, I have to do run it again. Ever, a day one completion. I really, really nice, like the raid. awesome, Bricky. It's fantastic. I think it's a lot of fun. Has a good visual appearance to it. Uh, it's a bit too easy with like some health yep, bars to yeah. be bumped up a little bit, particularly. I Ezra. hear this a lot. But overall, I think it's a fantastic grade for definitely new players. Kind of has a similar role. Look, if some if people want to run this, we can go run it. We'll run roots. I'll learn. I will learn roots to help run. I would just ask that you have raid clears because r running Vogue every week and not getting to finish is is a little edging. <laughs> I'll say that. We can run, we can run roots, we'll do it. It's a deep stone crypt, and I think that's a very good thing, and big Laser thumbs pointer, up. he does it really, that's, that's nutty. Point. Okay, back to past break. Despite all of my anger and annoyances, Destiny has its grip on my balls, and yes, it's one of the few accurate. games I play for myself, on my own time, to relax. So Bungo again, launches a new exotic, and I'm just like, friends, oh, your Bungo! Free time and your enjoyment <laughs> in grinding. You're welcome, chat. At the end of the day, I love Destiny, but I don't love Lightfall, and honestly, Oh, expected me. Judgment Thank of Kelgrath? Yeah, I know, I know what we're talking about. I appreciate about. it. Sorry, it's a bit of a bummer uh, type awesome. thing, but... If you're not into it, it's hard to get into it right now. With my opinions. And my opinions can be... No, your opinions are... I thought but, this was uh, very well put together and professional and great. Takes. I liked it. That's what it is. Check out the merch Valid. store. Check out the giant deal. No. Huge thing. Brick, he did a really good job with this. A lot of stuff to cover with Lightfall. God damn it. Bye-bye. Bricky. I will see you in game, Guardian. You absolute fucking legend. No, an awesome, awesome congratulations on doing a uh, world's first. That was nothing short of awesome.